Backstage here at the London Mellor at the BBC Asia Network stage, I am Yasser and it's Junaid Mia. What's up, bro? What's up? I ain't seen you in ages. Are we, are we shaking? Let's see the gangster thing. Yay! There we go. Because we're, we're, we're real gangsters up in the place. <laughs> Firstly, can you take your hat off? Oh my god, do you know what? No, 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 take it off. Let me. See it? Yeah, yeah. I want to oh, see what's going on here. Okay. It might look a bit funny because <laughs> I gelled it all down, but there you go. That's, that's a little glitz for you. The thing is, I've seen photos of you online. I've seen everything. You hardly yeah. get your hair out, so I never do. we had to we had to get it out. Yeah, I just I don't know. I'm so comfortable with my hat. I even sleep with my hat actually. <laughs> you sleep with your hat? Yeah, no, I don't really. That's a little obsessive. That is. That is. That is. Yeah. But I don't think many people have seen me without my hat, to be honest. Yeah. So that was an exclusive there. Let, let's talk about the hair, because last time I interviewed you on my show about a year or so ago, you yeah. didn't have the blonde. Why the blonde? No, I just like it. I'm. I'm do you know what? I was. It was. It was between grey. Purple and blonde, and I like the blonde. Uh, grey. Yeah, grey is. It's a you meant to color. avoid that as a guy. You meant to, we do the opposite. <laughs> we make it black. You're yeah, making yeah. it grey. No, but I feel like you know what? It just it's different, isn't it? It's something different. So yeah. I like it. Though. Fair enough. Fair enough. Now listen, your your career has been, you know, it's been on pause mode for a little bit, but I know it's going to be exciting. Can you can you fill us in on what's happening? Yeah, I've been I have been quiet, but yeah. you know what they say: when you're quiet, you're actually you know keeping busy and that you know. But I've been recording a lot in the studio and. You know, finally now I've got two singles that are ready to drop. So I've got Shisha, that's coming out um, okay. in uh, in two weeks. Um, the video the video is going to be launching on uh, Desi Trill. Um, and then I've got the, another single with Zach Knight called MVP, which we're hoping to release end of October. With Zach Knight? Yeah, with Zach He's Knight. like the Drake of our scene right now. <laughs> He's killing it, isn't he? He's collaborate with literally everyone. Every, every. I need to make a collaboration with him. That's, that's all that's <laughs> yeah, left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but he's got a good vibe. You know, like, he's got a vibe. And I feel like whatever he does is like all different. So, okay. you know. I was thinking earlier on, right, when I got into the mail, I was like, right, Janaid Mia is going to be performing today. Uh, and you've got a really husky R&B voice, which kind of makes anything sound very smooth. So I was thinking, um, I'm, I, wanna, I want you to sort of sing Asian snacks that we find at Mellas, but in your way, just so we can make it sound super smooth. So I, feel, I feel if you say samosa, it sounds a bit too desi. So yeah. if you were to say samosa <laughs> in your voice, yeah. how would it sound like? It'd be like, samosa. Chana chaat. Chana chaat. Gulab jamun. What? Gulab jamun. Gulab jamun. Let's just change the key there. Just keep going with it. Yeah. Jamun no no no. You could go on for ages with that. You could do it. Okay, let's do another. What's like the proper desi food that everyone eats at Amela? Um, biryani. Huh? Biryani and yeah. kulfi. Say biryani for starter, kulfi for dessert. <laughs> you do it, you do it, you do it. Um. Biryani for starter and kulfi for dessert. <laughs> Love it, Janaid. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks. Really good having you here, man. Exactly. Enjoy your mellow, bro. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>